Thousands and thousands of rounds of Counter-Strike played. But these ones hold a lot more weight. Smokes in. Shush, smoked, blind, and unable to provide. Maybe Cadian first, as they're committed in. Phase one, the A site, trying to take it by force. Good smokes, but better headshots from Stown and Cadian. Disrupts the plant, repositions and forced away again as he can't quite finish his meal. It ups the twists on the stairs. Can't find that head. Shush can. Shush will. As two come through and phase falter. Perfect for heroic. All right, all right. That's how they want to kick this one off. Going to grab themselves a pistol around here. Make it their second thus far in the series. And we need to go back in history. Just five months ago, the Blast Fall Finals. That was the grand final phase taking on heroic. Ended up in, uh, well, a three-map affair, a Mirage being that third and final. Went to overtime, went in the favor of Heroic, lifted the trophy on the soil. And that uh, hopefully is where this one is headed. Maybe not to the Heroic victory, but a game that goes all the way as FaZe. Not going to opt in here with a force by. This is just a classic Palace Waterfall. You've got carried on the flashes, twist with the smoke. The goal here is just to get the bomb down. And, well, for sure, it's just to pluck as many heads as he can. Lines them up. Flashed off, only gets one for now Ooh. and runs for the big shot. That is a big one. It might lead to a plant. Mission accomplished. It might. It might not. Cadian. Oh, he can't find him. Wow. Twists. Surrounded by enemies, just punching in the code. And yeah, Cadian can't believe it. He's right there. Yeah. He was right there, he says. Yeah, they bought a smoke just for that. They bought a smoke and two flashes just to make that possible. So as I said, mission accomplished here for FaZe. That's exactly what they wanted to get out of that round. Victory was not an option, but the plant certainly was. And you can see here, just, yeah, not able to hit this one. So it will be the 2-0 start for the Danes here, but let's get this bomb burner underway. The rifles do come out. And the minor. Most puzzled, I think, I've seen Cadian look <laughs> in a very long time. Yeah, a little uh, minor confusion. I'm sure he won't let it bleed into the next, because this is an important gun round in its own. Will FaZe get off of that goose egg quick? Into our third and fully equipped. Slow and steady here, but uh, Desk Highlighter is going to be all about middle as Yabby were flashed in to take an exchange towards the underpass. Doesn't see anybody home. You can see Twist here taking his time as Rain with some U2 lined up. Waiting to see if there's any aggressive maneuvers out of Heroic who picked this into Liquid and lost. Ending a five-map win streak on Mirage. Deep stairs smoke. You like to see that. Gives the CTs a bit of a choice here, but it's all a fake. Carrigan now applying pressure towards B. So keeping them moving. Our phase trying to beat the fakey boys of their own game as they want to split the B site here. That's the intention. Let's see if they can manifest it. Rain already. Lots of ground covered. And oh, he's ready for Stown. Takes a Dane down, and will they commit? Oh. Cadian fires off a shot, Bob's rocks onto Tessus. Yeah, Carrigan is in. Shush. This is a big head-to-head -head here. Bomb's going A. It's going completely A. Carrigan's cleared B. Heroic, baffled. But at least Shush can contribute. Twist not ready. Robs is. And Cadian alone in the 1v3. Oh. And it's all Robs. He has not let off the pedal. He was flying high on overpass and forced us here into the third. This is why we get excited about players like Rops, because when they are on, like the form you're seeing here today, they can define an entire series. The shots is he, he's hitting, right? Sometimes you see a Rops game, you think, oh, he's lurking too much, he's baiting his teams. But here, he's hitting big shots. He's protecting his team. He's having impact time and time again. And he's not missing. He's looking laser sharp, dialed in today. That flow state now we spoke about. Rops is loving it here. He's flowing for sure. Cadian aggressive middle now. Thinks twice. Yeah, on his own. You don't want to overcommit there. Yabby trying to contribute from short as well. Look at this pincer maneuver coming in as well. You can see they're coming through the underpass as well as top mid in unison. Teamwork. Looking to make that dream work. Rain advancing for Cadian. Catches Carrigan jumping through the window. Ooh, Ooh pays a heavy price. Spray not quite on the money. That one is. Oh! Gets them both down. Brokey back. Testus re-aggresses. Brokey's looking for trouble, and he hands him a headshot. You're not ready for Yabby. Yeah, there's no way you're ready for Yabby in the apartments. He's so set for success. Rops 
caught off guard. Relinquished of his life. Brokies, he's got his head on a swivel. He's almost ready for this. Oh, Kadian, he should have this one dead to rights. There's no way Brokies ready for this one. And he closes it clean. Heroic straight back. Yeah, and getting that AWP straight back in his hands here, the leader of the Danes. And this is Carrigan. He was noisy about that. He jumped up through the window. Kadian had heard the steps for sure and oh. then ready to play him on the gimmick of the smoke right there. So the opener going in their favor. And you can see that energy's back. It's hard to keep that when you're losing. And while well, they were down in the dumps over there on overpass, but bringing it early here into Mirage. So coming in today, Heroic were the favorites on paper. FaZe are the ones who've been battling back time and time again. This isn't a team that you can count out regardless of the scoreline. But you'd love more of a back and forth affair here as opposed to this streaky game that we've been delivered here today so far. Yeah, and if you haven't seen the speech Cadian was giving his men. It's two kills here for Stown Shaw. It's most definitely worth checking out as he discusses searching for teammates like this for all 10 years. But a very different man takes to the stage in Paris as the one that pulled up to Yuen Shipping. And now looking to advance to the semi-final phase up against him. I mean, a star-studded server right now. Now we mentioned Katie, and one of the names has to fall here today, him and Carrigan. Played at the first major. You've got Dupree and Apex as well. They'll be with Vitality a little bit later today as Kadian will finish things off neat and tidy. A double up for him, and only one of them can survive here today. This matchup could have been a grand final, right? Coming into this event, we had the fabled five, the big five names, and we didn't even get a few of them making their way through to this stage of the competition. The underdogs, that's what this major has been all about, the upsets. Yeah, and you talk about that final, you know, that Blast 4 final of heroic finally lifting the trophy we talked about their grand finals it was on home soil they had the crowd buff right they definitely had that home court advantage even though it's the astralis arena as i think a lot of people would like to dub it but uh still they have the support nonetheless here is happy with a slight gap over the top of that smoke he has been boosted on the bricks not out for brokey as they're posted top middle just down peaks this brokey might be able to flick into it and you can see the two of them at the ready right now shush and stown Hadian forward over towards Palace with his AWP. And well now defensive smokes will be deployed towards Connector to give them some buffer room to continue to fight here. See, so just understanding exactly what they oh. want to do and the harassment and aid. So this is understanding each other's tendencies, the way that the map is approached. And now the fight's coming. Tessa's too. It's a great map for these two teams to separate. And ooh, it's Tessus. Quick to the frag. Rain concedes another death. Slow start for him in this one. Looking to recover from that disadvantage. They're re-aggressing the CTs with the advantage. They're looking for Rops. Looking for Rops, but he hands them a hot shot. Long rotation Down, here. gone. Yeah, back around the world with the bomb. It's twist on the lurk. Everybody else is going to try and finish towards A. They had no idea about Cadian's AWP. It was timing that just went against down there. That U2 are going to be quite indicative. That fight is coming. Stairs smoke landing, pressure on its way. Who's going to open up the site though? Rops has done well to claw it back into an even keel. Good flash, gets him past Cadian's scope. The sniper, going to be counting on his teammate here. Shush, needs to win this duel. Carrigan, counting on twist. It's Yabby gone, but it's Shush and Cadian. Bombs loose. 10 seconds, they have to plant. He they have to down. plant now, it's going down. And twist caught down. A two on one, Brokey. Sprayed on down, low HP, two to find, he can't do it. And heroic extend, creating more of a gap between the two of them. And recovering a second AWP. Yeah, that's how we saw that phase one do on their CT side of Nuke. It's likely gonna go to the hands of Cadian and Stone. Ask about the other side of the bracket. You got any names at the tip of the tongue? I think uh, the one that we'd probably all want to see would be Vitality versus Liquid in the semi. Got to get through the Brits first, and we got to get through this. Another waterfall out of apartments here. Three at the ready Ooh, with the bomb. Perfect timing on that smoke. Just when they were going to go, you can see Carrigan still got that lineup held. Yabby forward position ahead of these flashes. Rain, they do nothing. That one's great though. Shush, he can't voice concerns at all. Yabby can, as can Cadian. Holding them at bay and fragging up a storm. Shush brings more. It's Rops on that Galil. Twists and Rops. Looking to twist and shout. A 2v4, no way, no way they should have a round 
With this limited resources, it is Twist. He is precise, but so is Cadian. Locking it down, maintaining the orbs, and extending their lead. Yeah, we need to reflect on what the desk was talking about as well. They were definitely praising Heroic and their Mirage, but talking about Cadian being towards the bottom as far as the stat lines are concerned. Well, right now, 10 and 3. Consistently finding impact here and feeling himself has been involved in some of these openings. And they're happy to take the fight. This was another lighter by scenario here. So phase by getting that bomb down, they're quite happy with that and a couple of kills to boot. So not a round win, but a round with a few little victories. Nonetheless, as Carrigan and Rain, they are struggling to get off the starting mark here with one kill apiece. And the same for Twist. He only has two frags to his name. We're still early stages, but we need to see them activate now because Heroic is going to turn this into another streaky affair. Oh, look at the damage. And it's destruction, decimation. Just charges up mid and already you've just, Two kills. You just yeah. had a call. You know, you've just had a round in your mind and already it has to be thrown in the bin. Yeah, and this is the thing. It makes it so difficult. Like, this is a great start for Heroic in the round. Now Tessus wants to keep oh. aggressing and they just keep coming their way. But with how these matches have gone so far, both teams with massive leads and then both teams attempting comebacks. So when we're looking at this scoreline, it's great for Heroic. But what does it mean in the context of this series? Well, not a lot. Both teams have the legs and the gas to give this one a go. Cadian versus Brokey. We get an orb head to head, and it's Cadian that comes out, loses his head. Twist needs more. All alone now. And Tess is forced into an uncomfortable death. He burns. No bomb. Left it behind in pursuit of blood. But now this round gets so uncomfortable for him. You can see he ran straight past it. Shush has got it in his sights. And ooh, Stown had twists in his scope. Forced away. Good shot. Bait and switch. Heads back smoke here. to the apartment. Smoke would be great. Yabby could be ahead of it. But has to respect it. Confirmation of presence. Couple of bullets. Oh, and just oh, out. Oh, Shush. Been saying his name an awful lot in this quarterfinal. Yeah, just peppering away there. So some impact from him. Now Shush, he wants to take that top spot from Katie and 12 kills. So that's a gun round that was over in the blink of an eye, just running up mid. Two players drop, Tassus with the aggression on the third, and here it is. Just want to biff straight up the guts here. The util thrown back, not doing a whole lot from FaZe, and now a six round lead as this one continues to build against the international squad. Ooh, at what point do you need that no another timeout? Just to get your head screwed on tight, you've got to take notice of where you are, what's at stake, your dreams of lifting a trophy in this beautiful arena. A farewell to a game that served you well for 10 years. See the stance here. They're so worried about the mid aggression again. Nobody pushing underpass, nobody really top mid. They're holding it from some of the more passive angles possible here. Brokey's the caretaker of that. Rain is burrowed down in spawn. We'll try and line this one up. We've had a couple of missed pieces of utility here. Let's see if it happens again. That's now Cadian searching. Ready for this. This is the perfect weapon for the job. Ooh, gets away, I think. He has got Twist to hunt him, and he should be good, but saved by Stown. The cohesion from Heroic, this constant communication. You really do have to get up bright and early to beat Heroic at this game. They want to split A here, so up through Connector. Rops will be that late play through the Palace position. Stown, if he activates, he can Ooh, ruin the day. He certainly could. This wolf pack from FaZe. Carrigan leads the charge. Shush, deleted by the leader. Oh! And Brokey too. Looking for a perfect one here to get the juices flowing. Twist provides the double. And FaZe secure their second. All right, need a couple more of those. There's something to get excited about for FaZe. And that all just happened in the blink of an eye. The tempo set there by Carrigan. The man steaming through, takes down Shush, who was stranded on the balcony, right? He got left hanging in that moment. There's definitely something to be said about FaZe Clan, though, isn't there? In terms of making it as intense as possible. Even qualifying for the Major was a tooth and nail affair. Yeah, they love doing it the hard way here. So these pressure maps, uh, these pressure moments, you, you look at the Bad News Eagles series, they could have been done, yeah. especially on this map here in Mirage. Uh, they get it against Na'Vi. They blow Na'Vi out of the water. Right, They've had two very big wins on this map throughout this Major alone. So they should have some confidence here. And they should have confidence that no matter what the scoreline is, they can always bring it back in the second half. And that is one of the biggest issues. I feel like Heroic are going to need to continue to cascade this momentum here to stay on top of face. A very difficult team to put away, it seems. 
Plenty of cash for Heroic to get out another buy here. Trish is even going to bring out an Org, so a bit of an interesting purchase in the current meta, but some CT positions you can definitely find it fruitful. Kadian's going Ooh. for another push here, this time a ramp. He's not going to find anything. You can see they manufacture a gap to try and set him up, but phase of other plans. A crawl through mid to S through the underpass. Well, if Heroic is just going to push you in a lot of these rounds, yeah, uh, allow them to use that early util exchange, but phase will flash back, window smoked, and now creating space is rain. Only rain this time. Safe from the nade this time. The same clamp down on A here, just less bodies through connector. Yeah, the twist is down. And they're ready for rain. It's down. Locks it and shuts. Oh. Raise it with one and a half. Limited in the health department. Rops and Carrigan. A, a nice headshot short. And he'd love to get that plant. Down on the floor, but the flank is coming. The happy and down are both very low here. Two on three, sure. They might give away the plan and allow Tessus to work. He's the key factor of all of this. Highlighted here, making his way as the bomb gets punched in. Now they can attack from three different angles. Actually, make it only two. If Tessus dies here, all right, if Tessus died here. Now it's Rops in a one on three. Look at the angle he's gone for. A perfect headshot required. And it's half HP or less. Oh, they know. Yabi gets the info, and Heroic are deadly. That information leads to an eighth, and I'm sure that's going to fill them with motivation. This defense already won out, and now looking to extend it, make it unreachable. Make Available here. See how that changes the game plan going forward for FaZe. They have been hesitant to take mid early because of the... Heroic aggression. Yeah, that early Yabby double, right? They're looking for a B pick. Kadian's gonna get boosted. We might have a head to head here. Oh, Brokey's gone underpass. Never mind. Still, that util implies the B defender on site. A deeper nade now. And both going forward. Tessus, the sacrificial lamb, or. The aggressive defender. Rocks. Oh. oh, loses his head. They try and take some space right now, FaZe. You can see him springing into action, wanting to take mid. If you're going to push an extremity, you're not traditionally very strong towards the mid corridor, but the bomb needs yeah. to be picked up at some point. I think Brokey's going back to understand that because if Tessas had continued to push, they would have had it under their grasp, which is a worry for Brokey now. He doesn't know what's happened on the Whoa. other side, but Carrigan, he's got the space and he's got a kill. He's got the gap. Doesn't get away, Yabby. He punishes. Disadvantage for FaZe, but can they recover? They have scooped up the bomb. Denies info from that connector. It has to be the B finish. Brokey has to deal with Tessus here. And that's just stalled them out. A perfectly timed smoke, followed mm. up by a HE. It, 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 oh, that changes things. Tessus has lost his head. Oh, and he nearly finishes the job. Brokey needs to hit some more combat. Orping nade through. Jumping in. Yabi again, stubborn. Can twists. Give FaZe something to celebrate. In our 11th, 20 seconds. And he goes to use every second of it. Tries to force Cadian forward, giving him nothing, not hearing that plant, and it's allowed for Shush to come around. Spots him out, needs the execution, but surely, surely Cadian. Oh! Loses his head! Twists! No time, but still nails it! Defying the odds! And breaking heroic, that is cheeky. Yeah, you're going to give him a chance right there. They didn't need to push him in that fashion. You give him the chance, he'll hit those shots. Katie oh. is the one left without a paddle in that environment here. Yabby does a great job on the site. Two big impactful kills for him to stall this out. Twist jumps forward, the clock is against oh. him. And it's this push here from Shush. He didn't need to take that timing, and it means that Kadian has one option. Let him plant and play out the 1v1 or try and get ahead of it. And Twist faked him out. That is a ballsy choice in the quarterfinals of a major. Oh, look at the damage. They're so low. Ouch. Nearly 200 damage inflicted, but nothing confirmed. That right there, this is an important round again. This is where the finances are on the ropes for Heroic. You can see this investment shush. After that blunder, left himself only with a 5-7 here, but continuing the push, continuing the fight. They might just walk into this AWP if they're not careful. Down, reactivated. Yeah, this is aggression. He's going to be seeing the blood here. Knows that some damage has been done. It's down. Oh, big headshot back. 
It's Rain. He fills the void and goes head hunting. They're just going to keep coming to them here. It's Yabby's turn to push. Ooh. Rob's just looked away. Carrigan confirms that presence at the top of middle. Rain will advance as well. Cadian was responsible. No longer looking. Maybe there's an opportunity for more. They want to try and finish towards B again. Tessus and Yabby are still here. They're not going to be able to say any presence over towards A. It has to be Rain. Rain, if he kills Cadian, he can make some space. He'll force a rotation for sure. Hinges on this. Don't forget all that damage. Yabby forced out. There's Cadian caught. Rain. He may have saved FaZe. As Tessus looks to save FaZe. Another from Tessus. Bomb lost. Rops needs a response. And he can't get it. It's all Tessus. A triple in defense of B. Rain. What have you got for us? Time sensitive. And it's all on him. All on his shoulders. As wide as they may be, they cannot hold the burden. And nine for Heroic. It's Tessus, the man on your screens, that makes magic happen. Something to try and make this a little bit spicier here. Yeah, faith in Rain as well. He has awoken in this third. And intentions are clear. Garrigan to flash them through. Shush a forward position. Ooh, the nades are great. That's on to Ray. Oh, and executed by the Shush. Ray twists. He saves him from a third. But he needs a whole lot more. Look at the shot out of Cadian. Quick on the draw. And a tenth. Secure heroic. Double digits. And a chance for two more. That's exactly how you want that to go. If you Cadian, you say, Shush, go close ramp. I got a flash for you from jungle. It pops. He gets two. You isolate Palace. You take the ramp fight. Pedestrian there for Cadian. And a great round to win. No problems at all. Those little investments not causing any issues here. And now the pressure is on. FaZe, how can you call yourself out of this hole again? Start making what is a pretty miserable looking first half, but if they can salvage the next round, maybe even the next two, they're in with a crack here. They can work with five, Chad. Hell, they'll even give it a go with four. They're trying to test Shush again. This time he's not proactive. He's not ready to go far and forward. They've tried this smoke wall an awful lot, Face. The deep stairs smoke, the bridge smoke as well, the cotton off connector and jungle. Check so this the up, out. down. Already Tessis and Stown saying, get ready on A. And oh, doesn't hit it. The flash is good enough. Phase of access to the site early. Those smokes, temporary. Oh, but form. It's permanent. Rain delivers. An advantage now for Phase. Good nade. Twist. Dead now. At the hands of the Cadian Orphan. He had the bomb. Oh, he goes off the angle. Peeks back in for more. Carrigan now down. Added to the naughty list. Maybe more from Rain. It's Brokey back with one, but they need a whole lot more. Con commits to the spray. He's gone away. A two on two and an awkward one at that because the CTs have the bomb, but for how long Rain through the connector? Yeah, but do you expect Yabby to be pushed up so far? That's the next question here. Right. And Acadian makes this move. This is definitely going to be an unexpected play here. Rain's safe from the AWP now. Rops is going to have a hard time working out where that CT has gotten off to. Yabby, hidden, on the A site. Acadian, oh, he hits it onto Rain! Rops long range! No way, no way, he's ready for this! Yes, he's not, and he shuts it! A Yabby for 11! He gave it everything he had there, some sharp shooting out of Rops, but Heroic too good. Locking in 11. As we'll come and get as acclimatized as possible. Oh, for sure, for sure. Big stage. Big stage, big, big crowd. Time. And it's the big time, the big leagues. Hitting their stride. It's mid the 11th hour. Out window. Lots of action in middle. Knife out for Twiz. Oh! That is Yabby's turn to shatter the phase assault. Twist and Rain already watching through their fingers as it seems 12 is a certainty. These opening moves, this aggressive defense. Garrigan won. Claws it back a little, but straight on into more from Stown. This is going to be the biggest first half lead we've had in this series so far. It's 10-5, 10-5 in the first two maps. This one's about to be a 12-3, unless Rops can do the unthinkable. He's not even mid-side. They didn't even get that action. Look at the X's littered across the radar. Before they could even get going, a pace change, some aggression, deny, yabby. And that's not the first time. No, they've been stalled out in so many of these occasions here. Heroic have been so active in taking these fights. It's just been a biff and a battle for mid, and there's no doubt they've won it. 
all of Heroic Stars. Every individual having their moment across these three maps. Shush and Yabby. Joined by Cadian here on Mirage first half. Yeah, and Rops is just hoping that push, but there's no reason to do so. Tassus has circumnavigated the entire map so far. And just like that, a 12th secure in the last global offensive major. Heroic have got so close to finishing it here and securing a semi-final. Make it both pistols and it's basically done here. The Danes, they can smell victory. They know Ooh. what lies in wait. They've been plenty finals in the last six months. What have FaZe got to say? The Comeback Kings, well, it's time to make that namesake. It's time to make that possible as Rops with the boost, looking for the first fight. Tessa's on Rops with his head-to-head -head action and Rops will profit. Yeah, role reversal of that duel before. Rops and Tessus duking it out, locking horns. Good start for FaZe. Hopes and dreams do hinge on this pistol. Yabi caught out, trying to sneak around. And it's Shush. Spotted out now. Information flowing. But is it deception? And is it successful? Doesn't look like it. Rops is repositioned, tucked Rokey's in. baiting for him here as well. Oh, that's even better. Should be no way back in. Should. Now confirmation and bait. Look at that. Oh, it's clean. Spotless from Rops. Shredded. Really good shooting. Rops has had a whole lot of that and is going to need a whole lot more as part of this comeback. Rops and Rain combined. And that is going to be the pistol falling in favor of FaZe. Without the plant, the question's all about this force play in the follow-up. All right, want to get across this line as quick as possible. And remember how Nuke went. FaZe were able to bring things back after a 10-5 half that went against them. So we know that the comeback is possible for both of these teams here, but this is where it begins. And I love the way you can see Stout just turning to acknowledge Brokey as Rop starts to strafe out. That is just a perfect setup, and it's the perfect start. What do we have to look forward to into round 17? Yeah, this one here should be pretty spotless. It is just going to be the one Deagle in the hands of Shush here to wield. So you look at him as the headhunter, the can opener, the only way for them really to get into a round like this. We saw FaZe in that first half. You know, they grabbed some flashes and a smoke to guarantee a plant. Nothing as creative out of Heroic here. So more just open a stand and bang. Mid has been acknowledged now. Brokey's seen a bit of this. And as Kadian jumps out with the shoulder, Brokey activates even further. And so does Rop. So looking for a couple of these eeks. Add those to the stats, they're gonna feel nice. He's not stopping, he wants a couple more. He's so sharp today. Yeah. He's got that champion oh, mindset. This is the Rops of old. This is the Rops I saw grace a pro league. And look, we got another uh, big name in the house. It's Smooya. let him hear it. Oh, they got the memo. <laughs> And uh, of course, not the only Brits that will be taking to the Accor Arena. Vitality taking on Into the Breach. Yeah, I think it's going to get a whole lot hell louder in here when Vitality rock up. Dan Matters Claire and Mathieu Elbow, the prides of France here in Paris. That's coming up next. But let's see just how long you have to wait, shall we? Well, first gun round here from Heroic. I'm going to try and close this one as quick as possible. Exchange of smokes in middle here, dotted across the map. No real investment from either teams as far as bodies are concerned. No info available here for FaZe either. They haven't gone aggressive anywhere. The default hold, not jostling for position as Heroic. Starting to piece this one together. Kadian, where's he getting off to? There's a change of plans there in the moment. That's right, a connector smoke from top mid, I believe. Yeah, that one lined up, a bit of a classic. So this is just feigning their default presence. You throw that and you start coming through underpass, but look at FaZe. They have really hunkered down towards this side of the map. Rops again in just one of these X-factor positions. Rops and FaZe must bring their best or they join the rest. Just one, need more. Rops put on the floor as Tessus and Kadian to take the advantage, take the sight. Look how far away Twist is. He's got no way to get back into this site unless Carrigan musters something magical. Both staring at him. And that long range MP9, oh. he gets one. Hold on. It's not planned for Stown here. It's the default plan. So Stown will have to take the fight before they get to the bomb, but they're both rerouting towards CT Swan. They're gonna have to cross the impossible here. He has sure, the there's kit. a kit, but there's not a whole lot else. He's got the smoke. Getting across Stown, but he's hiding. He's nervous. And across now is Carrigan. Maybe just they can just it. hold it. He's just gonna, just gonna it. hold it. And it's gonna be a FaZe Clan round! A ninja defuse! A 
Carrigan refused to surrender. Yeah, call the bluff. Just did it. I can't believe that, dude. When I saw Twist short, Carrigan Kitchen, it was supposed to be over. Yeah, that was a great round for Hiroi to grab there. Oh, There's a wow. the ladder, but the fact is that default plan. Oh. As that's down, has to activate. But it doesn't matter. Kadian gets isolated. Twist removes him, and there's no way for Stown, and he even goes down. Oh, that's massive. You can see that's going to stop. Yeah, exactly. Sweat off the brow. This has to be a spotless defense. Ooh, shush. Cops a dink. And it's already Kadian kicking up. A fuss on short. Twist going to be mad about that one. He just accelerated. Disrespects them. And already borrowed into the ladder room. That's going to have FaZe's feckles up. Yeah, there's nothing that Rops can really do about this. He has to stay committed to this position, which means he won't be able to help Carrigan, but Brokey can. The redeploy of that window smoke. And as we can see, Heroica setting their sights on the oh. weakest of the two sites right now. Can he really do it back-to-back -back rounds, Carrigan? The reason we see six, but can he hold on for seven? They're coming to his site, focused, and looking to be deadly. Shut down, can't get the second. Tessus again. He is very stubborn, is the Dane. Tessus puts himself up to 12 in the game, and you can see what it means for FaZe. Do they have to save? I, I guess think they so. Do. The number disadvantage here. If Rops can't find anything on his little look, it will just have to be holding onto these rifles. Yeah, I mean, Kadian and Tessus, both with high impact frags. Yeah, you can see just breaking through. Tessus did a lot of work in that last round. It wasn't enough as Rops tap, tap, tap and away. He wants to take down Yabby here, but now has alerted them to his position. This has bought a buffer for the rest of FaZe to save. Brokey, that AWP, priceless at this point in the game here because this is 13 now. Just three more for Heroic. There's a lot of nostalgia in the air here. A little promo piece we had at the start just to highlight just this journey of CSGO the last 10 years. Two players who have been there from the beginning and are here at the end. Kadian and Carrigan on opposite sides of the server and only one will survive. Only one will continue to keep that dream alive of being the champion of Counter-Strike Global Offensive's last. Yeah, well, Carrigan's already got his Antwerp last year. Kadian's still in the hunt. Oh, yeah. Kadian has made it very clear that that major trophy on his mantelpiece is the only objective he's currently living with. And pulling his four teammates alongside for the ride. Every single one of them, a necessary component in the heroic machine, which is only three rounds away now from a semi-final spot at this celebration of Counter-Strike. Speed pressure again here. Ooh. Carrigan only with an MP9. They're going to test him. I don't think they'll full commit here. See the bomb lagging behind. They don't have to go all in considering the time. Brokey has been summoned. Twist here as well. So there's three players to deal with this. It'd be less than advised for Heroic to go for the full commit. They're lining up that util. Carrigan, what can you do? What can he do? He's got Brokey in support. A smoke to play around. Spots out Yabby. It's a long range spray on that MP9. Maybe more from the orb. He's got Rops as well. And it's getting hectic. That's a Brokey. big miss. He's missed one. Can't get anything else done. Rain, where are you? What can you do? They need it. And Stan denies it. 14 in the bank. Heartbreak in the arena. They've been trying to will FaZe Clan into a competitive mirage. Yeah, and the crowd crushed. Understandably so here. This is FaZe without any money. Back to back rounds. Fiercely focused on a shared goal. And two rounds away from extending to the next day of play. When you get done with this investment here, maybe even happy to wield out a Mac 10. His first exchange seems pretty equal, seems pretty even. Carrigan going to pack a punch as well. And Yabby, is this something he even considers on the clear? The deep smoke. At least keeping investigating as Tassas. Just getting this mid smoke plenty of oh, bit of a misnade there. They put it all on the line. Clearing is clearing. And Carrigan's dead. Look at the damage he did. He's just unable to find that final bullet. That's the head armor difference right there. So Carrigan's head explode. Popped. And now he has to watch. Oh, they know it needs to be respected. They know they have to rotate over and oh the gamble. Carrigan calling from the grave yeah, here. This has to be special. Oh, Tessus didn't spot him. Everyone coming. Stout. Poison the shot. How's he got one? Stout trade. Sure. Shush. Good. 
And his twists with one back on that scout. They're so low. Could he really disrupt further? Look at the spray, long range. Yabby puts them right there. 15 and the nine match points. Now you see that buyer, you're going to see the same thing again. It's desperate for phase. They have nothing. They have no cash. The exact same time of buy you saw, uh, that's all it's going to be. Couple of pistols, couple of SMGs, maybe a Famous in the mix. The money is just not there for this buy. This game is done. Heroic have them, have them pinned. We're talking about this wounded animal. Well, Heroic, they're going to be the ones to finally finish them off. Dealt with them throughout that legend stage. A best of one. Inferno, a drubbing. And here, looks to be the same on Mirage. Throwing an aggressive knockout blow. This is where it ends for Face Clan. Rob's down. One in the round, it's not enough. Limited in players and resources. Twist, battles, tooth and nail. Stown takes him down. It's all to play for, for Brokey and Carragher. He does catch one on the drive-by. Brokey, a great headshot, but surely all for naught. Surely it ends here. As Carrigan at the last of Global Offensive wants to extend play and keep his dream of that trophy within reach. But this quarterfinal, it's got to be heroic. What is this? Where are they getting off to here? They're just going to reroute right around Carrigan. What a play this has been. He seems to have a decent idea that this is possible. And Carrigan, this could be genius. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Carrigan with that MP9. He spotted, gets the bomb down. Tessus now quaking in his boots. <laughs>